In today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how you can make your own food tray template in Photoshop. Hello, my friends, and welcome back to my channel. If you are new, I'm Sam, and welcome to the Ellie Rose Party Designs community, where we talk about everything to do with Photoshop, Silhouette Studio, PicMonkey, Canva, and so much more. If you are new to Photoshop Friday, Photoshop Friday is where we show you bite-sized 30 minutes or less video tutorials on creating and designing your own printables in Photoshop. Alright, to get started we need to open up our Photoshop. If you are new to Photoshop, you're welcome to check out my free mini e-course that I have. The link is down below. All right, so the first thing we're going to be using is a template. Now, I'm going to be using a template that I have found on Etsy. I will link it down below too for you to have a look at. And I'm going to go with this one here, which I believe is, this is the mini one and this is the old fashioned one. So I'm wanting this one here, okay? And once you have gone through the whole purchasing process, you just need to now upload it into Photoshop. Okay, so once you have uploaded into Photoshop, it's probably going to bring up a box like this, which is just telling you that there are two fonts that are missing. Now, I don't worry about that because that font, it's just got to do with where you need to cut. So I'm not worried about that. So I'm just going to close that off. So the template size that we are going with is 11 inches by 17 inches. So it is the bigger um, version of the movie food tray template okay so this one here I would recommend that you purchase on anything larger than 11 by 17 inches all right I would also recommend that you print on heavy duty cardstock so at least about 200 GSM is the weight um, that I would recommend using for your cardstock okay Okay, so let's get started. So a few things now. This part, this top part over here, all right, is actually what's going to be at the bottom of your tray. So it's up to you if you want to add pictures into it and um, clip art and wallpaper and that. I'm not going to do it, or actually I will do it just to show you, but it's not necessary because you're not going to see it. So it's a waste of ink almost, okay? But I will definitely show you how you would go about doing that. All right, so... Now let's get, so this is the front part of your template. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm pretty much just going to drag in a, um, a wallpaper that I'm going to be using on the entire thing. All right, so how do we do that? Let's go over and collect our, our wallpaper. So I'm going to be doing a Halloween theme, okay? So these printables you'll find in my blog in the next coming weeks. Um, so feel free to download that once they are, have been uploaded. Okay, I'm actually going to go with this one here. All right, I'm going to click and I'm going to drag you straight in and I'm going to release. Okay, another thing is I just want to su um, suggest, let's just place that in there. All right, is these little guideline things. Yeah, I don't know. I think they might actually be off. So I'm just going to pop them out to the side because they're actually quite distracting. But I will leave that center one in there. Okay, but here is my... Apart. So I'm just going to add you in there. All right. I'm not going to make it any more bigger because I don't want my clip art to be too big. All right. I'm just going to hit Control and T and I'm just going to make sure that it is slightly bit off of the canvas. That way I know it's definitely on the canvas. Okay. And then I'm just going to hit Enter. I'm then going to take that and I'm going to duplicate that. And I'm just going to click and I'm going to drag you all the way to the top until I am happy with where it's going. Let's just try and match it up here. To about there, okay. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take both of those two things and I'm gonna click and I'm gonna drag it to the very bottom of my template so that I've still got everything else showing up over here, okay. Now these gray squares, if we zoom in a little bit by hitting control and, t uh, control and the plus sign, and you'll see that these um, gray boxes have what's called cut dotted lines, glue, or use double-sided tape here. Okay, so you wanna keep all of that still in place, all right? So even if you wanna switch it off 
and do your um, details and then um, put it back on. But my suggestion is you need to print those, okay? Because that is your guidelines on exactly where you need to fold, where you need to cut, etc. Okay, so um, one thing I see here is this copyright thing. I'm going to switch that off, okay? Um, now, obviously over here, this part here is where your um, popcorn would be. This is where your juice would be. And that is where your hot dog would be. Okay. You don't want to be putting too many details on the top part of your, um, your tray only because you're not going to see it because all of this is all going to be cut out. And obviously you're going to have your food and your snacks and all of that in there. Okay. So the main areas I'm going to be focusing on is this one, this one, this one, and this one, because once it's folded, those are the four lines that you are going to see. Okay, so you can either keep it like that and then print it out and you're done. It's, it's as simple as that. Or you can add in a little bit of decoration. So I am actually going to go with, I'm going to make these two sizes. I'm going to keep them as they are. But this one and this one, I'm actually going to change the colors with that. All right, so this is what I'm going to do. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to make a new layer. And I'm going to go over here into my toolbar and I'm going to right click and I'm going to make sure that it's a rectangle shape and I am just going to go from here and I'm just going to click and I'm going to drag until I'm happy all right and let's just bring you in there okay the next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to click and I'm just going to drag that underneath there and then all I'm going to do now is hit Control and T for Tango. And I'm just going to bring that down just to where that line is. All right. And the same as this one. Okay. And I'm just going to hit Enter. And that's where that one's going to be. All right. Now, the only reason why it's coming up with pink is because that was a color that I was using in a previous design. All right. And I'm just going to click and I'm just going to drag it down. And I'm just going to hold the shift key and I'm just going to bring you all the way down to there. All right. So then that part's also done. And then now I'm just going to add in my details with this one. So now there are other ways of doing this. I'm sure this is just the easiest way that I've found works for me. Okay. So I'm just going to change the color of that. All right. That color, I'm going to make it say like this, um, orange. Yep. And hit enter. And I'm going to do the same with this one. And I'm going to use copy the same color and there we go. All right. Now I'm just going to add in some wording. Now bearing in mind that obviously this is the right way up, whereas this one here is upside down. So you need to do it. Obviously you need to rotate it. Okay. So I'm just going to bring in some clip art and let's go with, so it's kind of like a bat theme. So let's just go here. I think I might go with this cute little spider. He's very cute. Let's bring you in. All right, and I'm going to click and I'm going to drag you, even though it's a, a bad theme. I think that's quite cute. <laughs> and let's just bring you down about there. Now, bear in mind, the reason why you can't see it is because it's underneath. So you need to just bring that. So you can either bring it all the way to the very top. That way, you know, it is going to be at the very top. OK, but because I'm going to want it to kind of be in there, I need to obviously clip that in this design okay now it does sound a bit confusing and bear with me and i'll show you exactly what i'm doing so i'm just going to put it above this one here which is that bottom one okay because you can see it over here there's the bottom one there so i'm putting this clip art just on top of that layer all right and there it is there okay and then i might just add in some spider webs so let's go with oh yeah there's one right there so let's click and bring you in and let's pop you a lot smaller so control sorry the shift key and bring it all the way down that way it keeps it proportion all right and i'm just going to bring you further out let's bring you in about there and don't worry it is overlapping but i'll show you exactly what to do in a minute and uh, let's just find i think there's a white one they're perfect okay so i'm going to shift and bring you down and let's bring you Let's rotate you to about there and I might just make you a lot smaller and let's bring you in about there okay and then hit enter 
So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to click on to all three of these. So hit the shift key and click onto all those three layers, which is these three clip arts. And I'm going to hit control, create clipping mask. And you'll see how it's now clipped it inside there. All right, the only thing is that I want to do is make sure that my spider is on top. All right, and there we go. So those three things I've now clipped inside this. So no matter where you put it, it's going to stay in that area. Okay, so that's pretty cool, isn't it? All right, now I'm just going to add in some wording. So I'm just going to create a new layer. I'm just going to go over here to my type tool, text tool, and I'm going to click over here and I'm just going to find some font that I'm wanting to use. So I might go with raw dinosaur because I like that font. All right, and I'm just going to click over here and I'm just going to put in, you know what, I might actually change that. No, I might keep it as that. Okay, I'm going to put in eat, comma, drink. All right, as my layer, now obviously it's pink because that's the layer I've got it selected as, but we're not going to go with that color. So I am just going to pop in this color here. I'm going to highlight those. I'm going to make it like a purpley color. All right, and then this part here, I might make that, let's make that a, uh, what color have I not used? Uh, maybe this green. Yeah, perfect. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put a, um, a stroke, which is also like known as an offset, around my entire color, uh, my entire font. Okay, and all I did was I clicked onto this FX sign and I went to stroke. And the color is going to keep it as white. If you don't want white, you can obviously change it to any color you want to. And I'm just going to reduce that to about, say about there. All right, and I'm also going to do a drop shadow. So I'm just going to click onto that while I've still got that there. And I'm just going to see, let's just make you further darker. And then I might just bring you in slightly. And the distance. Yep, about there. Perfect. And hit OK. And now I'm going to click and I'm going to drag you. I'm going to go in there. All right, so you can obviously make that a little bit small if you want to, but I'm actually quite liking the size of that. All right, and then I'm now going to add in my next font. Um, let's go here, and I'm just going to go with, um, I did see this one here, Mammoth. All right, and I'm just going to, the color for this one, I want it just to be white. Okay, and it's going to be, and... B, and then the scary, I want it in a different um, font. Okay, so all of this here, actually, no, I'm just fine with that. All right, I'm just going to go here to the FX sign, and I'm just wanting to do a drop shadow on that one too. Okay, yep, I'm happy with that. Bring that down, and that's going to go over here, but I'm going to hit Control and T, and I'm just going to make that a lot more smaller. And let's just bring you in about, say, there. And then I'm just going to add in. So eat, drink, and be scary is what I want. Okay, so I'm just going to go over here. And I'm just going to type in another one. And I'm going to keep that the same as what it was, which was this raw one. I like that one. Okay, and that one I'm going to keep it as white too. So this one here, I'm wanting it to be big league letters, so scary like that okay I'm then going to make sure that I've obviously got that layer selected and I'm just going to do a drop shadow on you too all right happy with that so let's just bring you in there and I might just make you just a tad bit smaller you know what I might actually change the color I'm thinking I might change the color of that one let's change it to black Okay, and then I might just do an offset, a white offset around it, just to make it stand out a bit. Okay, I'm happy with that. And be scary. Perfect. There we go. That's all I really want. And then now I need to do the same thing on this side here. So you can either copy the, the exact font 
and then put it in here or you can change and do something else but I'm just going to go with the same thing so all I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight pretty much everything that was in that area which is all of that I'm going to click and I'm going to duplicate that okay and then there it is there so it says copy and that's where you know it is a duplicate and now I'm going to click and I'm going to drag that to underneath here okay so now it is actually underneath this top one here all right and then all I'm going to do is click off of the um, canvas and you'll notice that it's all over here all right so I'm just going to uh, where are we okay there sorry I shouldn't have ticked it there we go there and I'm just going to highlight them all so we've got them all highlighted all right, I'm just going to drag you up here. Okay, and then going to swivel you right around until I'm happy about there. And we're going to click and we're going to pop you in place to about, say, there. Let's just move you up. Okay, I'm going to hit enter, but this is what I'm going to do, obviously those things here because it's not it's not obviously clipped in there so these three things here I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna create a clipping mask and it's now inside there okay and that my friend is pretty much it so you can do this of course like I say with all my designs for any theme as long as you've got the templates you can do this for any theme, all right? Okay, so obviously once when you finish designing it, we want to save this template and we also want to um, get it ready to be printed. Now, remembering that this is 11 by 17 inch um, printable, so it is a little bit more bigger than a standard size that you would print in your home printer. So to save this as a PDF, which is what I would recommend you do, I would go over here to layers and scroll all the way down until you get to flatten image and what will happen is that all of these layers in the window panel is going to become one layer so we're just going to flatten it and hit ok and it's now become one layer i'm then going to go file save as and then you would save your template as a pdf file okay and then obviously changing whatever the wording is so i'm just going to put here halloween if i can spell properly halloween movie food tray template okay and hit save it's going to pop up a box i would untick untick and hit save okay and then once it's saved that um my next suggestion would be is to resave your design as a psd file okay so the first thing i would do is ungroup all of those layers by hitting the previous um the previous action we did okay and if that's you can find that in your history bar if you don't have that history icon just go over here to windows and select history okay so now i have all my layers back all right please remember to always get your layers back before you obviously save it um, as a psd file all right now if this is something that i am going to be using ongoing and ongoing i would actually have all of these designs in a one folder okay so i would actually click all of my designs from there to there i would make a folder and write halloween mm. all right and then that way you can obviously untick that and you can start off with your next design all right now that i've got that all grouped together i'm just going to go file save as find it wherever it is that you want to save it make sure you've changed it back to a psd file okay psd file and hit save all right so once you've saved it as a png a pdf file it's going to automatically revert back to a pdf file so always remember to hit psd psd which is a photoshop file and hit save okay now i've already done that so i'm not going to do that and that is it so all you would do then is take that pdf file that you've just saved and that is what you would send to your customer or you were sent to get printed etc okay all right so let me know in the comment section are you going to give it a go at making your own food tray templates i would love to hear your guys comments and remember to please like this video share this video and subscribe it is free to do so and i look forward to seeing you next week's photoshop friday